Peatland Action is restoring Scotland's peatlands. In this film, we will show you the best practice for how to block ditches. In many previously drained peatlands, the man-made ditches have eroded badly, leaving the water table at the bottom of the ditch. Ditch blocking raises the water table to the bog surface and allows the surplus water to spread out of the ditch and across the surface. There are two main techniques for ditch blocking. Machine-built peat dams are ideal for smaller ditches up to 1.5 metres wide. You will need a small excavator with low ground pressure. It is a good idea for the operator to walk the site in advance to check the terrain and damming requirements. On wet parts of the bog, the excavator should travel on bog mats. Firstly, remove the vegetation from the surface of the ditch and push away any debris. Dig deep into the ditch or along the edge to find dark, watertight peat. Peat that is dry and exposed to air will not form a watertight dam. Cut into the base and sides of the ditch to create key shapes. These keys ensure the dam does not leak around the sides or wash away. Use the peat removed to build a wedge-shaped dam with the dark peat. Compress the peat regularly. Ensure the dam is wider than the ditch. When the dam is 40 centimetres above the surface, place the vegetation on top and compress again. When completed, water will naturally pull behind the dam, raising the water table. Plastic piling is a good option when the site slopes too steeply for peat dams, or the ditches are wide, or there is a collection of ditches that have a fast flow of water. Ditches where the peat is shallow or has eroded beneath the rock substrate are unsuitable for plastic piling. Select the narrowest point across the ditch, the pinch point, to reduce the amount of plastic required to create a strong dam. Estimate the ditch depth with a rod or stick. Add an additional 50 centimetres to the length to sink the pile into firm peat and then select the plastic piles of the correct length. Starting in the middle of the ditch, bang the piles in with a rubber mill or the arm of the excavator. Piles should extend into the side of the bank and curve slightly towards the direction of flow. The piles should be just proud of the bog surface. Position the central piles slightly lower than the side piles to allow water to run over the top at peak flows and not erode around the sides. On wider drains or steep slopes, the dam may require a support beam for reinforcement. This kind of reinforced plastic piling dam is often needed at the end of a run of ditches. Ditch blocking is one of the most effective methods for peatland restoration to stop peat erosion and enhance habitats. As with most peatland restoration techniques, the overall objective of ditch blocking is to raise and maintain the water table as close as possible to the surface to encourage the growth of bog plant species, particularly the principal bog builder, Sphagnum moss. For further restoration guidance, visit our website and find out what makes our peatlands so important.